Peter's here. Hang on, Chris. We're almost there. I just have to get this bag over to the fruit machine. Whoa! No! A puppy food! No doubt about it, Sabin LeFou heard that. We won't have to call him today. Hey, he's already here. I'll see what Sabin's up. And I'll clean up the puppy food. Whoa, what a leaping leap. Sabu. Hey, you wondering what Chris is doing? <laughs> you know Zabu. It's always snack time before talk time. I'll get a snack. And I'm all cleaned up over here. <laughs> celery. Sabu, how about celery? Hey, here, have this one. Chris, you want a piece? Yeah. There you go. And I'm gonna have a piece too. We're all eating celery. Celery's good, isn't it, Sabu? It's great just hanging out with a lemur and eating celery. Hey, that's fine. What are you doing? I think you've had enough. You don't want to get too full. Give me some of the food! That's noisy stuff. Yeah, Zob, it is noisy. Is it yummy? It is for puppies, but not really for lemurs. Because this... Hmm? is puppy food. It made a loud sound. I heard it in my ear from way out the... Ears! I couldn't believe my mind. I saw ears as long as my... as long as my arm. Yeah. As long as your arm? Yeah, on the head of a creature. Was she a rabbit? Like her? Oh, well, a rabbit. <laughs> rabbit has long ears, but her ears stick straight up. <laughs> The creature I saw had floppy ears that hung down, not up, down. Not up, down. Kind of upside down. Who is it, Zob? Whoa, help! Whoa! Oh. 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 That's what you have to tell me. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? There was a lot of skin wrinkles of skin, and a big, sniffing nose. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He's a happy creature. She's a big-eared kind of dog creature. Do you know who she is? Okay, so she's a dog. With long ears, wrinkly, floppy skin, and her nose to the ground. Well, then she must be a bloodhound! <laughs> Mystery animal's here! <laughs> she's licking my ear. <laughs> I didn't even hear her coming. That's her, that's her. A dog. Hi, dog. What kind of a dog is she again? She's a bloodhound. Bloodhound. And look at her ears. Those have got to be some of the longest ears in the creature world. <gasps> <laughs> ears! Oh, I almost forgot. There were a lot of littler ears flopping along behind her. There were? Uh-huh. <gasps> look, here they come. Whoa. Bloodhound, bloodhound puppies! What? <laughs> look at those ears flopping. Whoa. Floppy ears. <laughs> Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Hey. Wow, you have big ears for a little puppy. Imagine if when you put your head on the ground, your ears touch the ground. Those are some big ears. Bloodhounds don't just have amazing ears for hearing. Some people think a bloodhound's long ears help him to smell. With his nose to the ground, 
his ears flop forward and kind of push the smell to his nose. Slimeta go! What? Will they find her? Can they smell me yet? Da 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 you. I'm too shivery. They'll never find me. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, he shipped me down! He shipped me down! No, don't take a shot! Oh, his shipper slimed me. <laughs> That was funny. Look at all this loose skin on a bloodhound puppy. Makes picking them up a little hard. They're kind of like picking up a water balloon. <laughs> it kind of jiggles and wiggles. You're not too sure if you've got it or not. Even though she's a little puppy, her ears are still a lot bigger than mine. Hey, Chris, I'm looking at your ear and at the puppy ear, and you know what? Ear here. <laughs> ear here. Both ears, but not the same. Yeah, Zob, we all have different ears, but they all do the same thing. Take ghost bats. They have huge ears, each as big as the bat's face. Bat ears can hear ultrasonic sounds that most other ears can't. How about rhinos? They can't see very well, so rhino ears are really important. Rhino ears even turn to point in the direction of sounds. Then there are chimpanzees. Notice anything about those ears? Yeah, they look a lot like human ears. That's because chimps and humans are closely related. And lemurs are related too, right? Right, Zob. So, all these ears may look a little different, but there's one thing they all do. Ears here! Did you hear that? No, <laughs> I heard it, because I'm all ears. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything either. But these long-eared puppies sure did. <laughs> and they're going to use their ears and noses to find out where that sound is coming from. That puppy's off to check it out. Let's follow him. OK, puppy, lead the way. <laughs> Carrots being munched. That's the sound. Hey, a bunch of bunnies. Hey, even though all our ears hear, a dog's ear can hear sounds people ears can't. We didn't hear anything, but this puppy heard these bunnies. Do you hear them now, Chris? Yeah, I do now. Do you? <laughs> these puppies are hearing sounds we can't even hear at all. Yep, and they're looking for something in particular. Really? How do you know? Um, I just know I know. It must be his lemur sense. Yeah, my lemur sense told me. Well, one thing's for sure. We have to help those puppies listen for whatever they're listening for. So, you know what time it is? Time to finish our super ear sensors. <laughs> Manga Tsika super ear sensors. But what's a super ear sensor? When we put on our super ear sensors, we'll be able to hear everything a bloodhound puppy hears. Just have to tune the acoustic booster a little. What's that? Sideways modulator. Oh. Ooh, this antenna. Mm. Do you know what they're doing? No, I don't either. You know who here's great? My friend from Zabu Land. I was leap, leap, leaping along. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into Sense It. Oh, oh, he was very excited. Oh, Zabu, Zabu. Nah, I really want to test my senses. Nah, my smelling, my feeling, my seeing. Nah, can you go hide over there so I can try and find you? Oh, sure, Sense It. Oh, one, two, nah, nah, three. And I knew exactly how I was going to hide. I hopped over to a striped fruit tree and I ate striped fruit. And then I turned stripey and camouflaged into the striped tree. <laughs> I don't think even Sense It can see me here. <laughs> Say Zabu! <laughs> I can smell you, but I can't see you. <laughs> you here? I'm over here. 
Oh, wow, what senses! My ears are so super, they can even hear a striped tree talking! <laughs> it's not the striped tree talking, it's me! Oh, no, Zabu no, with stripes! <laughs> <laughs> Zabu with stripes? No, that's a good one! I could hear you, but I couldn't see you, Zab! No, but wait, not now not I hear not something not else! What? I don't hear anything. Hear anything. <laughs> it's my little sisters! No, no, no. Oh! And then, since it's little sisters, slid down the tree! Hi, since it's little sisters! <laughs> I was so happy to see them that we played and laughed for the rest of the day. The end. We're done. This is how we're going to hear sounds we can't normally hear. Because now we can hear like bloodhounds. And we can help the puppies find that sound that they've been looking for. Keep your ears open. What do you hear? Oh, I don't want to talk too loud in her ear because she hears so well. How are they doing? Oh yeah, I hear it too. Yeah, I hear it too. Let's follow our ears. And make sure you don't trip over yours. I think we have a lead on the noisemaker. It's a spring hair. And how about those ears? What ears? I can't believe my mind. <laughs> a spring hair is an incredible animal with incredible ears. And he needs those ears when he's wandering around the African savanna at night. Because a spring hair looks for food at night, but so do a lot of his predators, like hyenas. A spring hare eats grass, but hyenas eat spring hares. So the spring hare always has to be on guard while he's looking for food. And that's where his ears help out. The second he hears something coming, he's out of there. It's a good thing he can leap 12 feet in a single bound when he has to. I can't believe how huge the spring hare's eyes are. That's because a spring hare is nocturnal. And nocturnal means he comes out at night. So he uses his ears and his eyes to stay away from those African predators. Oh, and look at the little hands he has. These are some of the longest claws in the creature world. His toenails are long, too. Look at that. Oh, look how he cleans himself. He takes from his mouth some spit and then cleans off his nose like that. <laughs> wow, look at him. He sure likes to scratch a lot. Yeah, come on. Let's scratch like a spring hair. All right, get scratching. You can do it. Yeah, it oh, yeah. It, oh, yeah, it feels good, huh? Scratching like a spring hair. Wow, spring hair. Hmm? That's spring hair sound, but that's not the sound the puppies are looking for. You're right, Zom. <laughs> so what sound are the puppies looking for? I don't know, but it's really getting noisy in here. Tell me about it, Zog. And finding the sound now is going to be like trying to find a chick's peep in a thunderstorm. Yeah, there's just so many animals making their animal sounds. Macaw! Camel! Snowy owl! Capuchin monkey! Baboon! Too many animal sounds! Our superhero sensors are cheating! Oh, not the puppy food! It's right here! The sound's over here! That's the particular sound the puppies were listening for! Of course! Oh. The puppies were listening for the sound of the puppy food that Chris spilled before. Well, it's a good thing I spilled it again. These puppies are hungry. <laughs> it's noisy, but it's yummy to the puppies. Here's some water to wash it down. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's right over here. Want some water? Want some water? Oh, they're thirsty. Bloodhound puppies' ears fall in the water when they drink. Whoa! <laughs> they 
They sure do, Zob. I wonder, do soggy ears hear? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's call them for playtime. Play <laughs> Come on, puppies. Go, puppies, go. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> you want to play? Let's play. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bloodhoundish. How about you, bloodhoundish? I feel bloodhoundish. Bloodhoundish. I'm a bloodhound puppy ears flopping all around. Bloodhoundish. Ears here. Whoa, now she's a loud <laughs> flapper. Yeah. We don't need our super ear sensors to hear a vulture flying. I see the vulture, but to where are the ears? What do you mean, Zav? No ears. Oh, yeah, she has ears. But where are they then? There's one right there, right behind her eye. And the other one is right here. Phew, I see them. Her ears. A hole in the side of her head. Ears here. <laughs> hey, and here's a message from Jackie. I have a fox den in my backyard, and I'm a good neighbor. Being a good neighbor to creatures means giving them their space. <laughs> and that's what I do. I just watch. One thing I love about fox kits is how big their ears look when they're little. Foxes use their ears to find food. Birds have ears, and foxes use their ears to find food. Hey, that's what your fellow <laughs> lemur, the eye eye, does too. Yeah, eye eye, but eye eye likes bugs. <laughs> hey, do you want to go see how the eye eye uses his ears to find bugs? Let's go find the eye eye. Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet, and they're headed out the door. What was that? I'd know that tapping sound anywhere. Yeah, it sounds like an eye eye for sure. But where is he? Hey, Chris. Yeah? Knock it off. Knock what off? Don't, I'm not gonna fall for that old and I eyes tapping you on the head trick. Come on. I'm not tapping you on the head. Wow. <gasps> and I eye. Wow. <laughs> what an incredible creature. Look at his fingers. They're so long and skinny, especially the middle one. And how about that face? What a funny looking lemur. Hey, you hear that? And I, I sniffs like he always has a cold. <laughs> and check out those ears. Ears! That's what we're here to check out. How does an I, I find food with his ears? Let's listen. You know what's going on? All right, let's go through it. And I, I taps with his finger. Then he listens with his ears to hear a bug crawling around inside. It takes great ears to hear a bug hiding in wood. If he hears one, he starts digging with his teeth. My teeth aren't made for digging wood like an Aya's teeth are. Try a chisel. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> an Aya's teeth are as strong as this tool. That's how an Aya digs through hard wood. And when he finds a bug, he eats it. <laughs> Let's watch him do it again. Okay, he taps and listens for where the bugs are hiding. He hears one. Now he bites through the wood right at the spot. There
and he uses his long middle finger to pick out a nice, juicy bug. He got it! Wow. Yo. Fern I have. I love eye eyes. He's heading back to the treetops, and we're heading back to Animal Junction. Hello, Zabu! Zabu? Zabu? This is weird. Where'd Zabu go? Hmm, there aren't any other animals here either. Hey! Where'd you come from? Hi, Toothbrush. Remember him? This is our friend Toothbrush. <laughs> you snuck up on us. <laughs> Doesn't it seem weird that such a big animal can move so quietly? Yeah, and the secret is in the elephant's foot. An elephant's foot is soft and padded, so he can walk without making much sound. That's how you snuck up on us. So, we figured out how an elephant can sneak up behind us, but we still don't know where Zabu is. I'm here, behind the ear. Phew, I've been hiding behind Toothbrush's ear the whole time. <laughs> That's whoa. a great place to whoa. hide. <laughs> they fell for the old hide behind the elephant ear trick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, whoa. look how huge an elephant's ear is. On those hot African days, the heat in an elephant's body can escape through his ears. That's how those ears cool an elephant off. They must work great, because they're so big. <laughs> That's why I hid there. You know what? I had a friend who was all ears, well, almost all ears, in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 and looking for mangoes to eat. Couldn't see any. Hmm. Yeah. Couldn't smell any. <sighs> and I was hungry. So I yelled, hello, sense it! I need your help! Coming, Zabu! <laughs> I knew he'd hear me, because he's practically all ears. Hi, Zabu! <laughs> what can I do for you? Hi, sense it! I'm looking for mango fruits. Do you hear any? <laughs> mango fruits. <laughs> oh, yeah, that way. <laughs> While we were on our way, we heard goobo making sounds. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm, but that wasn't the sound of mango fruits. Well, then we heard green puppy making sounds. <laughs> that wasn't the sound of mangoes. <laughs> then we heard wiki making sounds. <laughs> then finally, sense its ears found what we were looking for. Mangoes! Oh, can't you hear them? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't hear a sound until we started eating. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> the end. Hey, how did you guys get those mangoes out of Zabu land? <laughs> we didn't, Zabu. I got them out of the fridge while you were telling your story. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, can I have a bite? Sure. Uh. Hey, Chris, what was your favorite part of the day? I liked Zabu's buddy Sensei and how he could hear fruits. No, oh, can't you hear them? <laughs> and I loved the way the Aya used his ears to find bugs. What'd you like, Zab? Zab? <laughs> I liked when the animals snuck up on you guys. The bloodhound? The bloodhound! The Aya? An Aya! An Aya. An wow. The elephant? Hey! <laughs> Where'd you come from? <laughs> and me. And you never heard us coming. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim one more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Bye, Frat Brothers! See you later, Zabu! Bye, Zab! Hey, let's go.
who swim with seals. Yes. Did you know that seals can close their ears underwater? We'll see you next time. Yeah, bye. Hi, my name's Eddie, and this is my dog, Cartman. He's my best friend, and I love him. Feeling good. left our boots at Mud Puppy Pond. I know, but they just disappeared. Ah! I stepped on a pine cone. I wish I had my hiking boots. Wow, my hiking boots. I wish I had mine too. It's raining boots. Well, we had two wishes. Why not make it three? I wish uh, I had coconut. No banana. No coconut. No banana! Shh! Ooh, it's gooey. <laughs> Aren't you glad you didn't ask for that coconut? <laughs> I'm not goo anymore. In fact, I'm feeling good. So let's call Zabu. Zabu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu. Zabu's here. We're gonna have fun. Zabu has such soft fur, and he loves to be scratched. Zabu always gets a snack when he gets to Animal Junction. Zabu, mangoes! Whoa, hey! Mangoes are slimy, but Zabu loves them. Zabu's noisy when he eats slimy stuff. <laughs> Whoa! These are good. Hey, Zabu, who'd you see in the forest today? On my way here, I saw an animal who, 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 who had pointy sticks, pointy sticks all over her body. I can't believe my mind. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? I couldn't believe my mind. She had little sticks all over. Or was it spiky fur? Can't decide, but she waddled when she walked. Yeah, really waddled. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. animal. And you know what? Get this. She likes to eat sticks. No, oh, she does. She likes to eat sticks. Whoa! But not snakes. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess? Sniffy-nosed, prickly sticky. But who is she? Do you know who she is? Covered with spiky fur. All over. Little brown eyes and a round sniffy nose. Do you know who it is? I know who it is. Mongazika, mystery animals here. A porcupine. Ah! <laughs> porcupine quills can really get you moving. Ow. Where there are porcupine quills, there's always a porcupine. Porcupines are incredible. Incredibly sharp. And she's covered all over with prickly things. They're called quills, and they're really sharp. You can say that again. And, and they're, they're really, really sharp. Ow, oh, oh, wow. How do porcupines hug on each other when they're so prickly? With a lot of ouches, I guess. Hey, no, no, that's my arm. <laughs> Porcupines don't hug each other, and besides, most of the time she keeps them flat under all this fur. Porcupine quills are strictly for protection. Like when you go rollerblade and wear a helmet. That's protection. 
Martin, remember when we were a creature adventuring up north? We saw a fisher tracking the scent of a porcupine. Now that meant trouble, because fishers eat porcupines. But when the fisher got too close, pow, up went the porcupine quills. The fisher backed off because he didn't want a face full of quills. That's protection porcupine style. Zava? Zav? What are you doing? Oh, well, I'm trying to raise my hairs for protection. You know, it's only when she's scared or surprised, that's when her quills stand up. So let's make sure we don't surprise... Don't sneeze, Martin. You might surprise her, and then her quills might stand up. My God, it's under control. <laughs> oh, Martin, you made her quills stand up. They look sharp. Whoa, look at all these quills. She's prickly, but I'm soft. You can tell a porcupine anywhere just by looking at her quills. Whoa, but you shouldn't touch. Prickly. But look over at this end. Look over here. Her face and her nose are really, really soft. Oh, let me see. Whoa. No, look out, sharp chompers. Porcupines can't see very well, but they have a great sense of smell. I wonder what she's sniffing for. <laughs> she walks with a waddle. Let's try it. Do the porcupine waddle. <laughs> Everybody waddle. <laughs> OK, creatures, get on all fours. Waddle. <laughs> They're walking like porcupines. <laughs> Where are you going? Maybe that's what she's sniffing for. Food! Hey, Porky, you want a snack? <laughs> I guess that means she does. Let's see now. Uh, Wolverine kibble? Uh, no. Uh, Signet supper? No. Uh, ah! Porcupine! <laughs> I knew she was hungry. Look at those little clawed paws. She eats corn just like we do. Everybody loves chowing down on corn on the cob, whether you're a kid, a porcupine, or a crap brother. We're eating just like porcupines. I'm a round and round guy. I'm an end to end guy. Hmm, finish. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of feathery. <laughs> I'm proud of it. <laughs> uh, uh, Martin, don't sneeze or her quills will stand up again. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. You're welcome. <laughs> When a predator touches a porcupine, the porcupine's quills come out and end up stuck in the predator's nose. Because if you sniff too close to a porcupine... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just call me porcupine nose. <laughs> hold steady. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Here, hold on. Oh. Wow. Well, guys, you better put those back. Otherwise, the porcupine won't be able to protect herself. <laughs> well, it's too late for that now, Zabu. But don't worry. Porcupine quills grow back. Just like hair. Now that's a great haircut. And you know, porcupine quills are hair, too. Hard hair. Mine are soft. Hers are hard. And get this. Hmm? Each one of the porcupine's quills are hollow. A porcupine's quills hollow like this straw <laughs> so they don't weigh so much. What if they weren't hollow? It'd be like having to carry around this all day. Whoa! <laughs> It'd be heavy. Hey, Chris, I'm feeling porcupine-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel porcupine-ish. How about you, porcupine-ish? Feeling porcupine-ish. 
Porcupinish. I'm a spiky haired porky waddling all around. Porcupinish. A porcupine's feet are a lot like our feet. Except for those claws. Oh, I didn't know you could climb. A porcupine is a pretty good climber. She uses her sharp claws to dig into the bark. What are you looking for up here, Porky? A porcupine climbs trees to eat leaves and bark. <coughs> Not that kind of bark. This kind of bark. In fact, bark is a porcupine's main food in the wintertime. But it doesn't look like she wants any right now. I don't think she's sleepy either. Because this is a perfect place for a porcupine to take a snooze. But you're right, Zob. She doesn't look like she wants to sleep right now. She is still sniffing around. What are you looking for, Porky? She's licking a rock. Salt! Of course, she needed salt all along. Porcupines lick a lot of salt, especially in winter. Scarlet macaws love salt too, and they get it from the clay they eat. And there's another clay eater, howler monkeys. I think she's leaving. Now that she's had her salt, I think Porky's leaving. Bye, Porky. <laughs> when a porcupine wants to go somewhere, she has the right of way. Porcupines are great. Yeah. It's okay, Martin. Porky's gone home. You can sneeze now. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Sneeze. <laughs> Coming. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a duck! <laughs> wow, it's a sacred falcon. Wow, she's feathery, really feathery and soft. Well, is it a message from Jackie? You got it, Zob. Why did the duck cross the road? to get to Mock Coffee Pond and I'm their crossing guard. I'm here to help make way for ducklings. Come on, little ducks, it's safe to cross now. Hold on, little duck. Ooh, you're so soft. Petting ducklings sure is a lot different than petting a porcupine. <laughs> if you've pet animals before, you know they all feel different. Some animals feel smooth, like a dolphin. Some animals feel furry, like a bear. Some animals feel wet, like a fish. Some animals feel scaly, like a rattlesnake. Some animals feel pointy, like a prehensile-tailed porcupine. Some animals feel soft, like a guinea pig. Some animals feel slimy, like a salamander. You know one of the best places to check out animals? The petting zoo. Great idea, Chris. Do you want to pet some animals? Yeah, come They're on. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet. To, the closet. to grab their stuff and split. Oh, but all the stuff's going to fall on us. And you know how that feels. Don't worry, Chris. I found the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hello, man. All right, ready? Nothing. Bandanas. Bandanas? Let's go. They're going on a cool hey, adventure and they don't know what's in store. Come on, They're Martin. coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Come on. Hey, Chris, you have your skates? Yeah, let's roll. This is a great place to get up close to animals.
We're going to play Who's the Sheep? Martin is going to try to guess which of these three animals is the sheep by feeling them. Shh, don't tell him which one it is. All right, Martin, we're ready to go. <laughs> okay, which way? All right, first animal. Okay. Right here. All right. Now this animal is smooth and sleek, but sheep are wooly, so this can't be a sheep. It might be a small cow, but it's definitely not a sheep. Okay, Chris. All right, go. next animal. Right over here. Where? Over here, this way, Martin. Which, over which here. way? Right over here. Here? Right here. Okay. Well, I felt a wet nose, and the fur is very smooth. But sheep don't have smooth fur, so this can't be a sheep. It might be a dog, but it's not a sheep. Okay, next animal. <laughs> Where? Right over, right here. Oh, that's you, Chris. <laughs> okay, whoops, okay, oh, that was the cow. Wait a second, this animal's woolly. You know what? I think we found the sheep. This must be the sheep. Yeah, wow. go. <laughs> sheep are so wooly because the wool helps to keep them warm in the winter and dry in the rain. That's why people use sheep wool to make sweaters that keep them warm and dry. <laughs> hey, and you know, there are hundreds of different kinds of sheep. Let's count sheep. One, two, two. Sheep makes me sad. We were just kidding. <laughs> okay. Now it's Chris's turn, and he is never going to guess who this creature is. Come on in, Chris. All right, I'm ready. All right, but no peeking, okay? <laughs> no peeking. All right. All right. Right in there, right in there. Okay, now we just wait a second, wait a second. Hey, who just kissed me? <laughs> Mom? Is that you? <laughs> it's not Mama, it's a Yama. I knew it wasn't my mom. I was just kidding. <laughs> what a great right. animal. Come on, Martin. I got a good one for you. Okay. Martin's never going to guess this animal. All right, Martin. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right down here. Where is he? Right down here. Ah. Okay. Oh. It's long, it's smooth, it's dry. I've got it. This is a snake. Definitely a snake. <laughs> Martin thinks it's a snake. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. But there are all these bristly hairs. <laughs> this isn't a snake. It's an elephant. It's a toothbrush. <laughs> And you know, the reason we call her toothbrush is because she has all these short, bristly hairs, which are just like a toothbrush. Martin, come here. Here's a real snake. Wow. Most people think snakes are slimy, but they're actually kind of smooth and dry. Wow. Let's head back to the petting zoo, come on. Did you ever realize that animals could feel so different? Hey, you know whose fur would be really fun to feel right now? Zabu's. Zabu's! Hey, let's go back to Animal Junction and see Zabu. Come on. See you guys! Bye. See you later, you guys! Bye! <laughs> Where are you? Over here, Martin. Hey, Chris! Maybe we shouldn't have tried to feel our way back to Animal Junction. You're not kidding, bro. Hey, what's this? No, 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 Chris, don't look. He has to guess. <laughs> it's, 
it's hard and smooth. Oh, you feel all screechy. And this feels kind of like a rock. I bet it's a turtle. It is. It's a red-eared slider. She moves extra slow, and her hard shell is for protection. I know protection, like porcupine's quills. A red-eared slider is a water turtle, so this is a great place for him. Hmm? <gasps> hey, another animal visitor! Yeah. A lynx! Oh, his fur looks so soft. Let's check it out. Hey, wait up. This is soft fur, all right. Hey, the bottom of his feet are so soft. This fur is incredible. But then look at those sharp claws. Soft and sharp, all in one foot. His belly's soft too, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I wonder what it feels like to be a lynx. Let's find out. <laughs> a lynx has a great sense of balance and an awesome pounce. I like a lynx because I like to jump. <laughs> Feels great to leap like a lynx. He likes to play like me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's your ball back. Paws are super paws. I got a lynx by the tail. Mine! Oh, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, wait! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, that tickles! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! I wonder if I can get his tail. Too late, Zabu! Lynx is going home! Bye, Lynx! There goes one of the softest and coolest cats around. And I know someone who's the slimiest in Zabu land. So I was leap, leap, leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. <laughs> and I thought I heard a rock crying. And I said, is that a rock crying? And a sad little voice said, No, it's me, Slimantha. Well, don't cry. You just need a big hug. She said. That's why I'm sad. Nobody wants to hug with me because I'm so slimy. But I told her, I don't mind. Come on, you can give me a hug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you see? It's hard to make friends when you squirt out of their hugs. But I said, I love your slimy hug. That was so much fun. Can you do it again? Oh, yeah, come on. Oh. Now I'm slimy, too. And it's my turn oh, to hug you. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> I'm glad I'm slimy. Yeah. The end. I had <laughs> such fun today, I couldn't believe my mind. I especially liked it when Martin and Chris were feeling lynx -ish. <laughs> And my favorite part was not sitting on that porcupine. That was close, bro. And I really loved it when we were all trying to guess which animals we were petting. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. I've got a great snack for you, Zabu. Thanks. Oh, bananas. I love bananas. They're slimy, too. Excuse me. See you, Zabu! Whoa! <laughs> Chris, check out all the creatures down there. All right. I'm 
guys, and this is my really cool ant farm. Look at the tunnels. Running. That's a great wipeout, Martin. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> We've got a way to go before we can surf like penguins. Yeah. Talk about some of the best surfers around. Those penguins really have the moves. They're gone. Where are they? Maybe Zabu knows. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabu! Hey, do you want to help us call Zabu? Come on. Zabu Mafu! There he is. Hey, Zabu! How you leaping, Lever? Zabu, you're pretty speedy today. Whoa! Whoa, Zabu! <laughs> so what do you think Zabu wants to eat today? How about apples? Right. Zabu, I've got an apple for you. Zabu loves apples. There you go. <laughs> Not the whole thing. That's too much. Excuse me. Seven the <laughs> Hey, let's leap like lemurs. Leaping Crack Brothers. Hey, where did you two learn to leap like me? From you, Zav. Oh, well, you're pretty good. <laughs> I don't run, I jump instead. But the animal I saw in the forest, he was running. Who was it, Zob? I don't know, but as soon as I saw him, my mind said, who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this history? His legs were long, and his neck was too. He had a pointy thing on his face with a hook on the end. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. When he ran, he ran fast. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A long legged, long necked runner. Do you know who he is? Yeah! Round feathery body. Long, long neck and long, long legs. Wings but can't fly. Hmm? Hey, I didn't make that sound. The mystery animal must have made that sound. He must be! Longatsika! Mystery animal's here! An emu! <laughs> wow. That's him! That's who I saw! What an incredible creature! Wow! Well, Daddy! Well, that's not your daddy, bird brain! He's too big! Most birds are small. Like this Merlin. But this guy is huge! The emu, one of the largest birds in the world. I've never seen such a long neck. Can't believe my mind. It's longer than I am. And even longer legs. Manga Tsika. Long legs are great for running. And running is one of the things emus do best. Don't forget flying. Emus don't fly, Zob. They run. Yeah, emus have wings, but these wings are too small for flying. Plus, these birds are way too heavy. I'll lift you, emu. Heavy. Yep, he's heavy. <laughs> That's why emus run. Hey, and remember when we were in Australia? 
Yeah, we saw a big group of emus hanging out in the outback. They were pecking around, eating seeds. Then, one of them spotted something. What? Dingoes! Dingoes are predators of emus. And with dingoes around, there was only one thing for the emu to do. Run! And then all the rest of the emus took off behind him. Boy, are emus fast. Hey, look at all these spiky feathers on the top of his head. I wonder if when he runs real fast, they go like this. Whoosh. Oh, Mindu! Mindu! Oh! This is great. I've always wanted to run with an emu. <laughs> uh, Chris, except for one problem. No shoes. Uh-oh. There's got to be shoes around here somewhere. Aha! Shoes! I'll just put them on and run with the emu. This is gonna be great. You ready, emu? He's ready. Let's run! Hey, I'm getting nowhere. This is going nowhere fast. <laughs> run! Run! run. <laughs> I thought you were gonna run with the emu. There's no way I could keep up with an emu with these shoes on. Slippers are smooth and slippery on the bottom, not like an emu's feet. An emu has three toes on each foot. Let's see, one, two, three. Yep, three toes. <laughs> Ooh, the tickles. With a claw on the end of each one that keeps him from slipping when he's on the run. Slippery is great for sliding. Have you ever heard of a creature who runs sideways? How about fiddler crabs? I like them. They run sideways, and I jump sideways. <laughs> Let's all run sideways. Come on. Yeah. Running sideways. You can do it. Or jumping sideways like me. I smell mud. <laughs> uh oh, did you hear Zahu sneeze? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you're running sideways, make sure you look sideways. I'm gonna need a little energy if we're gonna keep running. Hey! <laughs> I guess the emu's hungry too. Emu food coming up. Now, let's see, uh, penguin? No, that's not it. Uh, no, not me either. I've eaten already. Uh, Martin? No. Chris? No. Ah, emu. Emu. Hmm? Where's the food? Hmm? Huh? Come and get it. Oh, oh, I didn't say run and get it. I'm out of here. Emus like to eat seeds and grasses, and look at this. His head can touch the ground while he's standing up. Wow, that's why he has a long neck, right, Martin? <laughs> exactly, Zob. His head can touch the ground without even bending down. Oh, stiff neck! <laughs> shoes, shoes. We've got to find some shoes so we can run with the emu. Hey, check this out. A gecko has sticky, suctiony pads on the tips of his toes. That helps him run up or run down walls. <laughs> Who climbs with sticky pads? Not me. Do you? Shoes, shoes, shoes. Whoa. Chris, there you are. I just found the most monkey seeker runner of all. Whoa, look at all those legs running together. It's a millipede. Millipedes have hundreds of legs. And look at how her legs move in little waves. Oh, yeah. Let's follow a wave. See that? I can't believe my mind. Doesn't she ever trip when she's running like that? <laughs> yeah, you'd think she would. But she doesn't. I wonder what it's like to have all those legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That would be pretty weird. 
It's Millipede Martin. He's a bug guy. Hmm. Hey, Emu, you still hungry? Oh, oh no, no, no. They, they don't eat that, but they wear it. But I still don't get it. You know, Emu, a, a shoe? Why do they need to wear these things on their feet? Just to run. <laughs> I think they look funny. Not runny. <laughs> Sabu, hmm? you found our sneakers. Hmm. Where were they? Well, Emu found them in the snack machine. Thanks, Emu. Aha! Press the button, Martin. Then they can both run like an emu. Great idea. And here's my running shoe. Thanks. Now we can run with the emus. Let's go. Woo. I'm feeling emu-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel emuish. How about you, emuish? I feel emuish. Emuish. I'm a long-legged emu sprinting all around. Come on, runners! It's a creature stampede in Animal Junction. Emuish. I feel emuish. Everybody's running today. Emuish. Oh. I'm a long-legged emu sprinting all around. We did it! We ran with emus! Running is great, whether you run like a gecko, a millipede, or a fisher. Well, don't forget puppies. Oh, well, they're all run down. Oh, it's our lap time. After all that running, you're bound to be tired. wants to clean my teeth. <laughs> Time to get up, I guess. <laughs> right. Emu's making the sound. Do you know what that sound means? That means he's calling his chicks. Here they come. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> An emu chick can run soon after she hatches out of the egg. Those long little legs help her keep up with Dad. Emu dads are great dads. They're the ones that hatch the chicks and watch over them. Wow, look at them go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, everybody. I'll run, too. Let's run like emu chicks. <laughs> you can do it. This is fun. <laughs> Follow me, chicks. <laughs> wow, emu chicks are super speedy. And they have racing stripes. Oh, run! Oh, oh, what car? Oh, oh. Zabu, why are you so tired? Mm -hmm. No, too much leaping. Not enough sleeping. <sighs> hey, I think the Emu Dad and the chicks are leaving. See you later, buddy. There goes a great runner. And here comes a great flyer. Incoming Falcon, duck! Guys, it's not a duck, and he didn't land on the barrel. <laughs> You're right, Zobby's not a duck. He's a duck hawk, or a peregrine hmm? falcon, and he's one of the fastest flyers in the world. Oh. That's why he has such a strong chest and long wings. Wow. Hey, look, oh. drop the message from Jackie. Oh, read it quick, quick. Hi, it's me. We're going to the park. Who's we? Me and my friends. These are some of the dogs that live in the neighborhood. Just a sec. Thanks. Hi. Hi, is Scooter here? take the neighborhood dogs for a run. Or they'll take us for a run. <laughs> dogs love to run, and we love to run with them. Bye. And now that we've got our new sneakers, let's take a trip to run with all sorts of animals. 
and we can find out the way different animals run while we do it. Our new sneakers are gonna be perfect for this trip. To the closet? To the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet. To uh -oh. grab their stuff you know what always happens when we open the closet. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Whew. Hey, Mark, we don't even need anything from the closet, do we? Not this time, you're right! Run! They're going on a cool adventure oh, and they don't know what's close. in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu! Bye, Zab! Bye! Whew! I am really moving! Hey, Chris, maybe you should take a break. My brother's a little excited. That's because we're getting a ride out to the grasslands to run with the animals. And look at them run. Giraffes! And one of them is headed this way. Have you ever noticed how tall a giraffe is? A giraffe can get as tall as your house. And that neck has a lot to do with it. But did you know that a giraffe's neck has the same number of bones in it as you do in yours? Seven. Seven? But a giraffe's neck is so much longer than ours. That's because a giraffe has seven big bones in his neck. Do you want to run like a giraffe? Let's go! Everyone runs a little differently, including giraffes. A giraffe puts his back legs in front of his front legs, like this. <laughs> Try it! <laughs> Maybe we should just run with giant giraffe steps. This trip is going great. Already we found a brand new running style, taking giant steps like a giraffe. Our new sneakers are doing a great job. <laughs> Some animals run fast. Some animals run slow. Some hop up and down when they run. And some animals just kind of lumber along like a rhinoceros. And he's headed this way. A rhino is a horned creature that looks kind of like a dinosaur. A rhino can get as heavy as this truck, but he's peaceful and nice. Usually, he just walks around the plains. But when he wants to run, a rhino can gallop as fast as a horse. Do you want to run like a rhino? Then just put your head down and go! <laughs> Running is so much fun. This is great. I could run with the animals forever. Only one problem, Martin. What? Our sneakers. Our running shoes. All the running's wearing them out. Don't worry, Martin. I think we've got one more run left in them. Antelopes? Antelopes. Let's do it. These are antelope. A herd of antelope is one big family that runs together. Like me and Mark, we're like a herd of crack running together. <laughs> You're right, bro. We are. You ever wonder where everybody's running to? Let's find out. Come on. A water hole, of course! After running all day, everyone needs a good, long drink of water. <sighs> That's better. Uh-oh. But look at our sneakers now. They're ruined. Oh, they're wrecked. All that running totally destroyed them. But I guess that's OK, because we ran with a lot of great animals. Hey, but we're not done yet. Look, a cheetah. <gasps> Amazing. 
Let's go! Step on and Chris is leaving us in the dust! Where's he going in such a hurry? these shoes don't have any running left in. Neither do I. Ah. Hey, guys, what took you so long? The cheetah. He beat us back. <laughs> we should have known. Great running. The cheetah is the fastest runner in the world. But he's a slow licker. Cheetahs don't always run fast. Actually, they spend most of their time walking really slow. So, when they do want to run fast, they can explode in a burst of speed. Manga, Zika! Cheetahs have long legs, too. Just like an emu. Long legs are great for running. Right, guys? Right, Zob. After a long run, I like to have a drink. Just like the cheetah does. Wow! His tongue can pick up water. Hey, look. He's using his tongue as a spoon. A spoon? Not bad. <sighs> After a run like that, every cheetah needs a rest. Oh, nap time. I meant to do that. <laughs> Zob! <laughs> That's our Zabu. What a nutty lemur. I, I, I got licked by a cheetah. <laughs> hey, Chris, Martin, I think he likes me. That's for sure, Zob. It looks like he's off to chase another antelope. He's such a great runner. Bye, cheetah. I know lots of great runners in Zabu land. So I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I heard somebody say... Hey, Zabu Dabba Dabba Doo. Hey, who said that? Dooba Dee, it's me. Who's me? It's me, Zobsta. Oh, uh -huh. hi, Bugly. Zabu, my leaping little leaper. Wanna go for a Whoa. run? <laughs> well, I guess so. Whoa! Hang on! Whoa, you run fast! <laughs> Why, thank you, Zaboobity D. <laughs> I run fast because I have grippy feet Whoa. and long legs. Whoa. That gets me running like the wind. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> can you go any faster? Does a bug have a lot of legs? Sure, I can. Whoa. Hang on to me, Zaboobity D. <laughs> we ran faster and faster and faster yeah. until. <laughs> We were flying. Oh, hi, guys. And we were flying high. High in the sky, next to a dinosaur eye. <laughs> Great story, Zob. I have to try a bug ride sometime. We have to go to Zabu land to get them. What was your favorite part of the day, Zob? I liked when you guys ran with the emu. I liked when Jackie was running with the dogs. My favorite part of the day was running with the giraffe and the cheetah. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his party behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Zabu. Bye, Zabumafu! What's the matter? Oh, my nose is running. running. You'll be fine, because we're going river running! Kayaks? Kayaks. Yeah! Martin, where's your kayak? Stand at the river! <laughs> See you next time! 
Animal Take We're almost there, Chris. Good. Uh, I thought we'd never make it. Animal Junction at last. You know, next time we go to Timbuktu, let's take the creature jeep. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Chris, wake up. We gotta get those hammocks out so we can take a nap. That's what I was gonna say. The hammock's moving. Hey, what's a baby ringtail lemur doing here alone in Animal Junction? I'm too tired to think, but I bet Zabu would know. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabumafu! Yeah, here he comes. What's up? There's a baby ringtail lemur here. Over there. It's a little leaper. I almost forgot. Zabu's snack. You know Zabu. He won't yak till he's had his snack. Well, Zabu's a safak, and little leaper's a ringtail. But they're both lemurs, and they're both leapers. It's a leaping lemur fest. Only a really good snack to slow Zabu down now. Garbanzo beans. Zabu, I found some garbanzo beans. Zabu loves garbanzo beans. Give me some of the Hi there. Good to see you. Hey, guys. Hey, Zob. Hmm, you smell okay, but you look terrible. You got it. We're worn out from creature adventure. Oh. Yeah. All we need to do now is lie down and take a good long sleep. Well, I know how to wake you up with a great big snake. Huh? All righty. Who's first? <laughs> <laughs> well, this should clean you off. <laughs> Martin, you're next. This will wake you up. Yeah. Nice. Feel better? Yeah. Well, we're awake, but kind of wet. How about some towels? Here, guys. Miss? Martin? Oops, I mixed up. Oh, yeah, it feels good as well. Hey, how come little Leaper is here on her own? That's a good question, Zabu. We don't know. That's what we were gonna ask you, Zob. Hmm, I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> You're right, Zob. A baby ringtail lemur would never leave her mom for very long. So let's take care of her until her mom gets back. Okay, okay, let's take care of the baby. And you know, Chris and I have to take a nap. Chris? <laughs> oh yeah, sleep. Let's set up the hammocks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but if you guys are gonna go to sleep, you'll miss all the other creatures who are on their way. What kind of creatures? Running around and having fun creatures. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Pointy ears. Wow, you couldn't miss those pointy ears. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. were popping out everywhere. Kitteny creatures with clumsy feet. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Lots of claw pod kitten jumpers. Do you know who they are? All right. Whiskers and a stubby tail. Big ears and clumsy feet. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, lynx kittens. I don't know, I was thinking bobcat kittens. <laughs> lynx kittens, you are right, Martin. <laughs> and bobcat kittens, you were right, Chris. Yeah, you're both right. The mystery animals are here. There are two mystery animals. I can't believe my mind. Lynx and bobcats look a lot alike, especially when they're kittens. And it's hard to tell them apart, but if you look closely, you can see that the lynx kitten is Tanner, right? And that the bobcat kitten 
has a spotty pattern. Spots, I see them. So, Lynx kitten and Bobcat kitten. But you know what I still don't get? Why are all these babies turning up in Animal Junction alone? Hmm, it's a mystery. Well, whatever the reason, we have to take care of these babies until their mom comes back. Looks like Animal Junction has become Animal Daycare. <gasps> Could only happen in Animal Junction. Well, I can take care of babies. You sure but Yeah, you guys can take a nap. It's no problem. Taking care of babies is easy, easy, easy. Hey, well, where did Little Leaper go? Did you guys see Little Leaper? She was just right here. We have to find her. Zob, so, you look after the kittens, we'll find Little Leaper. Okay. There, you stay with Zob, okay? Stay right here. Watch the edge now. Hey, hey, where, where are you going? No, 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 you're supposed to wait here. Don't go anywhere. Well, I guess it's just you and me. Yeah, well, at least one of you is here. Little Leaper! Little Leaper! Tell us if you see the baby lemur, okay? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> she found us. Hey, Chris, is that somebody behind you? Hey, there's one of the lynx kittens. Isn't Zabu supposed to be watching the kittens? <gasps> oh no, the closet! Don't go in there. Whew, that was close. You gotta watch this closet. There you go. Great save, Chris. <laughs> the lynx kitten was saved, but <laughs> the closet got Chris again. Thanks for helping me, Chris. You were great. Anytime. Now, if we could think of a safe place for these lynx, bobcat, and lemur babies, then we can put up our hammock and take a nap. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, let's build a creature playpen. That's a great idea. Yeah, you soft stuff. You babies like that. Oh, all right. Bright colors, bright and playful, fun too. Gotcha, Sob. Mm -hmm. Okay, the creature playpen is ready. Now let's get those kittens in here. Yeah. Links are over here. I see some bobcats. One kitten, two kitten. You're coming to get you now. Oh, three kittens, four kittens. Oh, five kittens, six kittens. That's everybody. Four bobcat kittens and two lynx kittens. Okay, brothers, you can have your nap now. All right. To the hammocks. What? They're definitely hungry. I'll get some milk. Okay. What's going on now? Let me try, Martin. The snack machine usually works for me. All right, Zob. Give it a try. Stand back. Machine's really broken this time. Oh! Oh! Incoming! <laughs> bobcat milk. More bobcat milk. Hmm. Lynx milk. Manga it's warm. I guess the snack machine was just warming up the milk. Animal Junction is amazing. Okay, here we go. It's time to feed the kittens. No, 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 take the nipple. There you go. Wow. Boy, you must be hungry. Woo, this little guy is chugging it down. And I think he's all filled up. You done? All right. Look. This other little bobcat's drinking the spilled milk. There you go. Oops. 
<laughs> Taking care of baby creatures is a lot of work. All right, another kitten is full. Whoa, Chris has his hands full. He's feeding two at a time. Takes practice. Yep, you'll be bookie soon. Keep drinking. Great job, Zog. Thanks. Boy, baby creatures sure take a lot of looking after. Come on, you want some more or are you full? Well, this one's Wookie. Good job, Zob. Thanks. I think they're all full. Yep. And after a good meal, most cats, like Bobcat and Lynx, like to clean themselves off before they go to sleep. I think drinking all this milk has made the kittens tired. <laughs> I think it made Chris and Martin tired, too. <laughs> But he's sleeping. Oh well, guess I'll go and leap around. What's that? Come on, take a look. What was that? Your hammock! It's alive! It's alive! Ah, oh, a silver fox kit. He must have been sleeping under there. Well, how come he's sleeping under your hammock? I don't know, Zob, but it's not the best place to sleep. Well, let's bring him to the playpen then. Good idea, Zop. Usually in the wild, you don't see different species playing together. But Animal Junction is a special place. Hey, guys, here come some more animal friends. Hey, Kawadis. Hey, maybe they want to play with the lynx kittens and the bobcat kittens and the silver fox kit. Uh, did I forget anyone? No, Zabu, that's everybody. Oh. Except little Leaper, who's way up there. Incoming Leaper! <laughs> Koala's nose never stops moving, Zabu. Look at them. <laughs> yeah. They're just little teeny babies, but they're already sniffing everything. They're so curious. Whoa! Koala's climbing up my shoulder. Wow. Good climber. He sure is. Look. Look at these guys. Yeah. He's playing with the lynx's paw. Hey, don't nibble on him. He's asleep. Careful now. The lynx doesn't even care. No. These lynx can even sleep with koatis crawling all over. <laughs> they must be tired. <sighs> I'm getting tired just watching them. Hey, let's see what this koati gets his nose into. The fox's mouth. <laughs> that koati found out the fox has fox breath. <laughs> Good morning. I think the kittens are starting to wake up. Yeah, they want to play with the koatis now. How about the fox? He wants to play too. Usually in the wild, you don't see different species playing together. But Animal Junction is a special place. This could only happen in Animal Junction. This is like having a puppy and a kitten playing together. Because a fox is a kind of wild dog, and lynx and bobcats are types of wild cats. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel baby creaturish. How about you, creaturish? Baby creature-ish. <laughs> baby creature-ish. I'm so roly and poly, I'm a baby animal. Baby creature-ish. The baby creatures wore the Krat brothers out. They're asleep. So, uh, how about a story from Zabu land? <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap. Leaped clear across Zabu land. I was tired. But then guess who showed up? Oh, oh there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Zabu. <laughs> Can you race with us? Yeah, race with us. Sure. So I had a race with <laughs> Sensen, <laughs> Snow Lemur, and Sly Mantha. Well, that got me really pooped. Oh, I need a nap. But then Bugly came. No oh, napping. Oh, oh. Time for flapping. Come on, Zabu. Well, okay, Babu. Bugly. Let's Whoa. Bust. And that's what we did. Yeah. We buzzed around Zaboomafuasaurus. Oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Bugly. Hey, Zaboomafuasaurus. Yeah. It was fun, but it made me even more tired. Well, huh? Zabu, let's keep playing. Want to slide down my back? Well, I can yeah. never say no to a friend who wants to play. <laughs> Wee! Yeah. Again. Okay. Again, Zaboomafuasaurus. Go. But you know what? What? I know what it's like to be tired. Huh? Huh? All that sliding made me so yeah. tired. <laughs> I just fell asleep. Zabu. Zabu. <gasps> the end. <laughs> I did.
guess the brothers just couldn't stay awake anymore. Oh. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to look after them all by myself. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Mark. I love these guys. Time for you to go! And Mom Kawadi! And Mom Bobcat! And Mom Fox! And Mom Lemur! I think your moms are calling you! Bye, Mangatsika babies! It's not a duck, it's Moonface. Yeah, Moonface, the barn owl. Yeah, and Moonface's toenails are sharp. Oh, they're digging into my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an owl's toenails are called talons, and they are really sharp. Yeah. Just like a kitten's claws. Huh. Hey, a message from Jackie. Oh. The animal hoppers and I were picking blueberries yesterday when we saw a baby robin on the ground. He must have fallen from his nest. We didn't want him to get hurt, so we had to do something. Me and my animal hoppers knew just what to do. We made him a new nest with a blueberry basket and some grass. It was nice and comfy for the baby bird. a good tree where the baby bird would be safe. We put the basket in a place where it wouldn't fall. Now his mom can find him and feed him. It's really great that bird moms are great moms. Jackie's right. Bird moms make great moms. There are plenty of great parents in the creature world, and they all know the best way to take care of their babies. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Let's go see how different creatures raise their babies. Sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> they're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. You ready? Here goes. <laughs> Binoculars. They always come in handy. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're heading Come on. out the door. Climbing high up into the mountains is a great way to see animals taking care of their babies. Yeah, and I got a bird's eye view of doll sheep. Doll sheep. Oh, yeah. Doll sheep live high in northern mountains. They have to be great climbers to get from place to place up here. How about that bunch of babies? Look at all those lambs. Hey, there's an older sheep. She's taking them all for a run. Look at them go. <laughs> Let's run like doll sheep. Yeah. Creatures moving across the plains. Bison. Let's get down there. Going down. Yeah. Down to the bison. All right. Grasslands, here we come. Hold it. Bison. Bison are the biggest native North American land mammal. Yeah, bison are big, and they live in big herds. These big herds help protect and look after the bison calves. 
being well looked after gives the bison calves a chance to run around and practice being bison. Hey, what's that little guy up to? It looks like he's trying to get the other calf to play. <laughs> he's running circles around him. Hey, and it worked! All right. Well, I guess it's time to get back to the junction. Yeah. It was cool seeing how different creatures take care of their babies. I wonder what Zagu's been up to. <laughs> hold it, hold it. I'll get you a snack in a second. Oh, wait, I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> What's going on in there? Come on. Chris, Martin, I need help. Animal Junction is Animal Daycare again. They all came at once, and they all want to do different stuff. We're here to help, Sob. Oh, good. This is a fennec fox. Look at those ears. When she gets older, they'll stick straight up, kind of like that. But they'll still be huge. Mm, big ears are good. <laughs> fennec foxes live in the hot deserts. So look at this. The bottom of her paw is covered with hair, so she doesn't burn her paws on the hot sand. I can't believe my mind. How about these paws? I love how when a cat gets his paw in the water, it sometimes shakes like that. Yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> Uh-oh. I think she saw Zabu's tail. <laughs> <laughs> the servals love my tail. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Can you catch it? <laughs> they can't catch it. Whoa! <laughs> they got me. <sighs> uh, taking care of these babies reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was sleeping along. Sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> Sleep, sleep, sleep. <sighs> when all of a sudden. <sighs> hey, Zabu! Are you sleeping? <sighs> I'm not sleeping anymore. Margaret, I'm all alone. Can you puppy sit me? Maybe, if you're a puppy. Uh, I'm a dinosaur puppy. Okay, then I'll <laughs> dinosaur puppy sit you. Uh, do you want to chase my tail, Zabu? Uh, I'll chase it before you can say Zaboomafuasaurus. I got you. Well, let's see if you can hang on. I can hang on. Oh, oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Noggin Drill. Ow. Oh, watch your hand. Oh. I think I need some help taking care of baby Zabumafuasaurus. Well, maybe you should call his mom. Great idea. Hey, Mom Zabumafuasaurus! Oh, oh, yeah. I couldn't see her anywhere. Where are you, Mommy? And all of a sudden, <laughs> oof, <laughs> we found her. Mommy! Oh, baby Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Zabu. Uh, Mommy, Zabu huh? took care. Me. Oh, thank you, Zabu. So baby Zabumafuasaurus and I both got on her foot and we roared like dinosaurs. <laughs> roar! 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 This is a roar. This is a roar. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the best thing about today was playing with all my baby animal friends. That was my favorite part. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Anymore. How could we be after seeing all those creatures? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm out of here. I'm tired. <laughs> See you later, Zob. Bye. Hey, Chris, you think what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. We have to watch over the fennec fox kit and the serval kittens till their moms come back. This kind of thing only happens in Animal Junction. My name is Anna, and this is my cat, Tosh. <laughs>